Hello again and welcome back to my channel. This beautiful Singer 28 dates back to 1902. It's housed in a sturdy ornate coffin top case. The Singer 28 is a slightly scaled down version of the popular Singer 27 and it's known as a three quarter size machine. The full size Singer 27 has a base that measures 14 and 5 eighths of an inch by 7 inches while the 28 has a smaller base measuring 12 and 5 30 seconds of an inch by 6 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. This was supposed to make the machine more portable, however it still weighed in at 12 pounds without its hand crank or case. The 28 is a vibrating shuttle machine and they were built from 1891 to 1918. However an improved version, the 128 and its full size sister the 127 were introduced in 1910. There were only minor changes to this update. The bobbin winder was moved to a higher position and the shuttle got an eject button. There was also a redesigned shuttle which isn't compatible with the 28. To prepare the machine for sewing, fold back and clip in the hand crank. Slide the shuttle cover back and remove the shuttle by pressing on its tip. Take the bobbin out of its case. While holding the hand wheel, turn the stop motion button towards you. This stops the needle bar from moving when you wind the bobbin. Unlike some long bobbins, this 28 one doesn't have a hole in the end to run the thread through, so you need to trap the thread between the bobbin and the winder. Place the thread into the thread guides at the top and bottom of the winder and push the winding mechanism up against the hand wheel. Slowly turn the hand crank to start winding. You can see the clever cam mechanism that guides the thread over the bobbin to ensure that it winds evenly. It's a good idea to start and end your bobbin winding with the guide over to the right. When you've wound enough, cut the thread and remove the bobbin from the winder. Don't forget to re-engage the stop motion button. Drop the bobbin into the shuttle so the thread comes off in an anti-clockwise direction. Pull the thread down the slot in the shuttle and back up under the shuttle tension spring. The thread should just about hold the weight of the shuttle. If the shuttle drops straight down, then the tension spring will need tightening. Place the shuttle back in the shuttle race and replace the cover. I like to leave the cover open slightly until I've pulled up the bottom thread. To thread the machine, place the spool on one of the spool pins. Make sure you use the spool felt, this will stop the spool from over spinning. Take the thread over the upper thread guide and down and between the tension discs in a clockwise direction, making sure that the thread goes under and into the check spring. On most machines, lifting the presser foot automatically releases the tension on the discs. However, on this machine the release is manual and it's operated by this button at the bottom of the tension assembly. Then pass the thread through the hole in the take-up lever and through the front thread guide. There's a final thread guide just above the needle and then thread the needle from left to right. While holding the upper thread, turn the hand wheel towards you to pull up the lower thread. You may need a pair of scissors or something similar to pull the bobbin thread all the way up. Make sure the shuttle cover is fully closed and you're ready to sew. Hold the ends of the thread when you make your first couple of stitches to stop the thread pulling back and creating a bird's nest under the bottom of your work. This machine has no reverse function and the stitch length is regulated by this screw. Tighten the screw up for longer stitches and loosen it for shorter stitches. 
There's no indication of stitch length, so it's a matter of trial and error to get the stitch length that you require. This Singer 28K may be 117 years old, but she still sews as beautifully as the day she was made. I hope you found this video to be interesting. If you have, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.